Hi guys, welcome to my session. Today it is going to be very much interesting. We are going to see how we can generate PDF files and PDF report from different sources like URL from other file and we can generate our own HTML string to PDF. So for this I am using today I am using I don't PDF new get package and they have they have given all the documentation I am just using there you can also follow it also after completion of this session I am going to give this source code in the video description you can check it out guys before starting the session if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification and if you are if you like my video give me a like share your comment and suggestion in the comment box it will be encouragement for me let's get started so i am using visual studio 2022 and dot net core web api getting a project now dot net core web api so i am keeping let's say YouTube PDF demo, click on next. I know it has to be S, click on create. Next thing is we will install our install package. Iron PDF once it got created. So it got created. That is go to tools, new get package console, write install package iron PDF, hit enter, it got installed successfully. Now, add our own controller here. Uh, let's say I am adding our new controller, I am adding a own web API controller, click on R. I'm giving, let's say, giving the name as PDF controller. I no need of this route. First thing is, I'm going to create two folder. One is generated PDF file and one is upload folder, two folder. Generated file PDF file will store my generated PDF file and upload will store any uploaded file, right? So, creating a folder on the solution, one is generated PDF file and next one is upload folder. Okay, we will not do this one right now. Perfect. So, everything will generate the PDF, it will store here. So, now I will create a reusable method to download the PDF file from this generated PDF file folder. For this, for the sake of timing, I did copy paste here. So it is a download file I action result method which accepts the string file name and that particular file from the generated PDF file which we created just now in the folder, it will download as a return file. So our reusable downloadable file method is created. Those who don't know how to upload and download file, I will give a video link in the video description and please check it out on that. I already created so many video on how to download and upload file, right? So next stage, I am going to create a API which is going to create uh, the PDF from the URL and the URL will be passed from the parameter. It will be a get API. So I have created an API called generate PDF from URL with accepting a URL link and it taking a renderer chrome pdf render which is a of method of you can see it's a class of our iron pdf okay now it is var pdf equal to render url as pdf and the url link which we are going to post from our front end parameter 
now it will create a pdf file name which will be unique which is a date time dot now dot text dot to string dot pdf and it is going to save the file in the current root slash generate pdf file slash the pdf file name and it will return our download file this is my pdf file name which will be generated and i'm going to call this download file method from here and i'm going to return that one as a downloadable option so now run the application and we will see how it is working. So for now I am going to create this particular URL as a PDF. Just you can see iron PDF the particular URL. Guys to create video like this it takes time to read, do scripting and then record a video. If you do like my channel give me a like and share this video with your friend also please so here we have pdf controller generate pdf from url map api is here try it out let's give the url link now execute the so first time okay uh, we got response body for download file so you can see this is my download file let's click on open right we got our downloadable pdf next thing we did for url then now we will do for file so doing file i have a file here in my d drive on my desk index and this index actually it's a pdf means it's a invoice actually i'm going to generate invoice for this html file so how we can do this so i'm taking this to in, in between to my application copied stop the application from running in the solution explorer i am creating one more folder so r1 folder name is upload right so now in this upload i am doing paste in desktop html now next thing is i am going to create one more api which will generate the pdf from this upload slash index.html file so i have created an api here generate pdf from file and which is taking the file name from this same dead time now dot take now it will create the file from actually it is now here so let's see what is my upload path so open folder path copy right now i have given my physical path you can keep current directory slash upload slash html for now i am keeping physical path now run the application and see how this pdf from file is working or not guys previously i have created some pdf generation in dotnet core 3.0 and blazor excel generation excel report also so if you interested i will give the link on the video description please watch it out so now here generate from pdf generate pdf from file previously we have generated pdf from url we checked it out now we have pdf from file let's try it out click on execute and i think it will work yeah download file upon it it's got download let's check it out yes same thing now we see uh, if we go for our this particular folder open folder so this is our index.html but if we go our swagger the downloaded file is pdf stop the application from running we did for our from url from the html file now we will do our own html data 
let's say I am rendering HTML file or HTML report then how I can do so I have created an API which is generate PDF from HTML which the file name will be same with that 10 time dot now dot text dot PDF but here the render HPDF previous one is render HPDF from file now it is rendered html as pdf now in the html text i have written hi please subscribe to my channel and it will be going to save in the same generated pdf file now it will be returning in the same reusable method which is download file in the beginning we created right it has three reference you can see and now run the application in the html string we have given hi please subscribe to my channel so if it is going to sussex and properly run then please subscribe to my channel so now here generate pdf from html now try it out execute download file got response check it out hi please subscribe to my channel it got success and guys requesting you to please subscribe and if you do like give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much